this was actually an original Scotty Cameron. So just before he actually got the Titleist. Probably valued somewhere in this of 5,000 at this point. Welcome to Cool Clubs HQ. My name's Jack Gilbert. We're gonna be doing some videos on some products and some cool stuff that Cool Clubs USA are doing. Right now we're in one of our new putting studios and we've got about $50,000 worth of putters in here right now. And we're gonna take a look with our CEO of two of his favorites that have inspired him to do some of his own putters. Hi, I'm Mark Timms, a CEO of Cool Clubs, and as you can tell from all these putters lying around, I've been collecting putters for quite a while. Um, some of them are actually personally mine, some of them are actually for sale, so we do sell some of this stuff. Uh, we've got Scotty Cameron's, Bettinardi's, all kinds of collectible stuff here. Um, but I just want to talk today a little bit about my favorite putter and probably one of the ones that started me actually collecting putters to begin with. This is a Bobby Bettinardi 38 Special. And I'll give you a little background on this one. Uh, I've actually known Bobby for probably almost 30 years. Um, originally bought this back in the late 90s. Probably had a couple of them way back when, when I had a store in Connecticut a million years ago. Um, but just a really clean looking putter, uh, classic answer style, really cool putter. Um, probably a little shiny to play with, but as far as the shape, um, there's a million different ways to do an answer putter. I've actually designed quite a few uh, answer putters. Um, and actually most of them are based off of this shape. So a 38 Special is actually Bobby's 38th birthday. Uh, and he actually continued that a little bit. It was the first one he did like this. He's actually done now a 22 Special, uh, which is his son Sam's birthday, who now works for the company and will probably take it over one day. Uh, at one point in time, I probably had a 50 caliber he did on his 50th birthday and a 44 Magnum, which he did on his 44th birthday. I don't know what I did with those. I probably should try and find them and keep the collection. So there's a little background on the, the putters that started me collecting some of this stuff. So this is our main putting studio and headquarters. And the 38 Special, 6,500 bucks. I've just got to hit it. Just. My favorite stuff, Scotty Ball, is actually this old one, which is uh, a slant-necked, all stainless, really long neck, face balance putter. Don't see a lot of Camerons done that way. Um, this is a, actually a home the putter and it's all gold plated. At some point in time, I think this was valued almost $10,000. It's probably got back to a couple thousand now, but just different. Probably a little gaudy for me, but in China and Japan, this was pretty popular. And here's another gold plated one. Uh, this is actually one of the Ping's anniversary one. This is the original Ping putter. I think they did a couple hundred of these. We actually have a couple in the case. Some more Bettinardi's I like a bunch. Um, this one's pretty cool. It was actually all brass. So again, another softer material. Uh, feels really good, tarnishes a bunch over time. Like I said, you don't see Bobby do a lot of brass stuff. Here's another one. This is a standard tile, old ping type putter. I think I've had this for some 25 years or so. I'm not sure if Bobby even recognized this one. This is an old one. One of the Toulons, not necessarily collectible yet. He only started this a couple years ago. So this is one of the first ones he came out with. I'm going to keep on this one for a while. Sean's a good friend of mine. Done a really good job with this stuff. And there's a lot more to come. I guess in January he's coming out with a bunch of new ones. These are old TP mills, all handmade, a uh, number of different models, really classic designs. Not my favorite, to be honest, I'm kind of more high-tech stuff, but uh, really clean looking old putters. Uh, another putter we kind of like is the Whitlam uh, gauge design. This is a pretty cool one, a bunch of different stamping on the bottom. A lot of detail on this stuff, you know, all the groove down in the hosel here. Um, face is well milled. He also has done some in copper, this is actually an all copper putter. There's a few of these in this case. Really soft feel, obviously copper's a little heavier, uh, but a neat material to make putters out of, not that many available. And finally, we've got uh, one of these, another one of Bob Bednardi's one. This is an all copper head, again, soft, but this is kind of different. We don't see this very often. These are all hand welded stainless steel hosels. And welding copper and stainless together is kind of tricky, um, but really neat look. Uh, I call them candy cane modelers. I think five models. I think I used to have all of them. I'm not sure what happened to the other ones, but they're lying around here somewhere.